Hello, and welcome to this webcast featuring how to set up a smart motor control demo with the On Semiconductor Internet of Things Development Kit. In this webcast, we are going to discuss the basic components of the IoT Development Kit by On Semiconductor and provide a step-by-step -step guide for how to set up the kit in a smart motor demo. To support connected applications, there are a variety of Internet of Things or IoT building blocks required. On Semiconductor provides a variety of products and solutions in each of these major building blocks to assist designers. We offer a large variety of sensors, both wired and wireless connectivity blocks, supporting a variety of popular connectivity standards and platforms, the central processor, as well as motor control and actuator blocks. On Semiconductor provides sending solutions for image, light, proximity, touch sensing, temperature, level, moisture, humidity, and pressure sensing. On the motor control and actuator side, we have a lot of solutions from brushless DC motor control, stepper motor controls, and brushed motor controls. As far as connectivity is concerned, we have solutions ranging from sub gigahertz to 2.4 gigahertz radio solutions, as well as solutions for wireless connectivity. In addition to these integrated solutions, we provide power supply blocks for AC and DC operations, Finally, we deliver these solutions with industry-leading packaging capabilities, ranging from extremely small micro-package solutions to system-on-a-chip, modular, and multi-chip packaging solutions. And this is all integrated to bring about the top-of-the-line power and cost efficiency. IoT objects typically involve both hardware and software. Each of these elements work together to create a complete system solution. Often you will need to produce an API, Application Programming Interface, which is a piece of code that you can include in your main application software, which makes each of the design elements work together. On Semiconductor has created a design solution where different sensors, motor controls, and connectivity building blocks can be tested on a single platform together. On Semiconductor not only provides the devices and different hardware elements, but also software and common system interfaces to create a complete solution. This modular development kit can be customized to meet almost any design requirement using a variety of shields supporting different connectivity interfaces, sensors, actuators, and monitors. The IoT development kit is also accepting of external hardware add-ons and future components currently in development at On Semiconductor. This software is made in order to help the developers start quickly and have their first project up and running in just a few minutes. This is the embedded help inside the software environment that helps each of the steps to be covered quickly with reference and skin captures. Once the environment has been set up, the developer can go and select examples from simple to complex code in which it will find online help to set up and decide which algorithm configuration will go with whatever example is included in the IDK. Developers can then customize connectivity and router access in the code itself. They can also use alternate cloud service solutions with the IoT Development Kit if they so want. In this next section, we are going to provide an example of a use case and show how it is implemented in the IDK. This example will be featuring the Smart Motor Control application. This Smart Window Shutter application is one use case that involves Smart Motor Control together with different shields and parts of the IDK. In this demo, we will use an ambient light sensor dual stepper motor driver, a Wi-Fi connection, and a cloud connection to Carrot's cloud server, which we will look at in just a moment. The prerequisites for success are listed here. Please take time and pause this webcast if necessary to read through them carefully. We will now go through the demo setup step by step. First, have the On Semiconductor IDK installed on your PC. The Project Explorer pane will be empty at first installation Dedicated instructions are delivered with the installation package. The Carrots account is mandatory to store data created by the IoT object to the cloud and retrieve the data later on. The account setup is free of charge and only takes a few minutes. In order to get a Carrots account set up, go to Help, then Welcome, located at number 1 above, click on Examples, located at 2, open the Shield library at 1, scroll down to Carrots folder at 2, Double click to open the folder and follow the instructions located at 3. Copy the API number and device IUD into a text file 
and save it on your PC. You will need to use them later. Once the carrots account is set up, we are now moving to prepare the hardware. To do so, you must have in front of you the following elements of the kit. A USB cable to connect the baseboard to the PC where the IDK is installed, the IDK baseboard, the stepper motor control shield, note, port 1 and 2 are handwritten on the green connector of the shield. Please do the same on yours. The stepper motor device, the ambient light sensor shield, PMOD visco interface, the power supply cable that connects the baseboard power to the stepper motor power connectors, and the power supply AC-DC adapter to give the supply to the stepper motor. Please connect them all together as follows. One and two are the power supply cables. Make sure the USB cable is connected at three. Make sure the stepper motor is connected to the right port, so-called port number two, as shown located at four above. We are now done with the hardware setup. Now let's go over an overview of the functional description of the software application. Here we see the basic block diagram in green where, upon changing shade lighting conditions, we measure and process the light level. Upon different light conditions, the application will display light measurement variations that are then processed by the baseboard processor. This action has two concurrent sequences. One is to change the position of the stepper motor to emulate a window shutter. The second action is to send the situation of the local shutter via Wi-Fi to the carriage cloud for storage and display. We will use Wi-Fi connectivity to connect to a Wi-Fi access point that will be configured in this webcast. The Wi-Fi access point can be a smartphone Wi-Fi shared connection or a Wi-Fi router connected to the internet. The carriage agent embedded in the application example will send information to carriage cloud through the Wi-Fi access using the REST protocol. The IDK hardware is now ready to be connected to the PC for downloading the application software that On Semiconductor has developed. Let's go into the application software details. First, we open the IDK that has been installed on the PC. All previously created products are visible on the left panel, located at one above. If it is the first time you open the IDK, this panel should be empty. In order to create our new project, please go and select Examples, Complex, Smart Window Shutter with Cloud at 2 above. Once done, an application is created in the Project Explorer panel on the left-hand side at 3. The IDK hardware is now to be connected to the IDK software. We have connected the IDK to the PC via the USB connector. We want to indicate to the IDK that the software will be written to the flash memory of the baseboard controller via the specific USB port. From the IDK main window, we click on the light gray arrow at 1, open the project folder at 2, and select the config file by double clicking at 3. This opens a new window in the IDK. This is showing the content of the config.cfg file. Let's connect the USB cable of the IDK to the PC. Go to the control panel, device and printers, device manager of the PC at 1. Look at the USB serial port number that is connected to the IDK here it is COM7, located at 2 in the example above. Copy the COM port number, in our case 7, to the config.cfg at 3. Go to File, Save. Looking at the highlighted sections on the right, we can see that our serial communication port is now set up properly. Now let's configure the IoT object to connect to our Wi-Fi access point in order to allow connectivity to the carrier's cloud. Here we double click on main.cpp located at 1. A new window has opened at 2 with a genuine C source code and embedded help to describe the application at 3. Let's scroll down to lines 50 to 68. We can see the hardware configuration of the kit that has just been installed at 1. Let's scroll further down to lines 126 and 127. Please enter the SSID and Wi-Fi access point password. Save the file. Our Wi-Fi access point is now configured. Now let's configure the object to send data to the Carrots cloud. It is now time to take the Carrots avatar device information we have created at prerequisite number two, API key and device, into the embedded software section one and two. With this, we allow the data structure we have declared at three above to be sent to the Carrots cloud under the name of this avatar in the cloud. We are now entering the last mile of this exercise.
So let's save the project by going into File on the top left and clicking Save. Next, rebuild its index by selecting the project in the left pane, right click, select Index, Rebuild. Then click Project on the top toolbar, then Build Project. If there are no errors, the result is an ELF file that will be flashed into an embedded MCU of the baseboard. Note that the code itself is approximately 90 kilobytes. Flashing the code to the MCU memory is straightforward. Once the baseboard is connected to the USB port, hit the green on semiconductor button located on the top toolbar at one above. A black window pops up asking for hitting the reset button on the baseboard. Here you can see a close-up view of the baseboard and the reset button located on the bottom right of this picture. Here is the previous use case in action that is provided with the ON Semiconductor IoT IDK. This use case provides an example of what a designer can do with a smart light detection and window shutter. We take the light measurement from this device, measure and compute it, give a certain level of light intensity, and then transmit the data to the stepper motor via the stepper motor driver. If we have a light condition of 178 lux now, and if I increase the light level, one sees that the light intensity has moved up to over 7,000, and rapidly the stepper motor has moved to another position, simulating the window shutter closing. This information is sent to the Carriage Cloud Platform, representing the light lux level, the stepper motor position, and the window shutter position. This information is displayed in a convenient widget style on the Cloud Platform, which also shows the geolocation of the device, the light level, the motor angle position, and the situation of the window. This is how the data is transferred from the on-semiconductor IDK representing the IoT device or object to the cloud software platform, essentially using the REST API and MQTT protocol. The information is then processed and managed via JavaScript HTML for display on a PC. Here we depict the integrated development environment, IDE, software applications code, and the help file. At the bottom, you can see the light intensity, shutter status, and the position of the shutter data, which is all transmitted to the cloud in raw format. The widgets on the cloud platform displays the geolocation of the device, light levels that have been measured during the session, and the situation of the motor, light condition, and shutter condition. Thank you for watching this webcast on the new IoT Development Kit Smart Murder Demo. For more information, please visit www.onsemi.com.